It's time for our Seen and Unseen segment, where we reveal the stories behind the headlines. For that, we turn to Fox News contributor Raymond Arroyo. Ray, uh, Speaker Pelosi, she wrapped it up there, didn't she, uh, in Taiwan, after the Biden administration and the Chinese, they tried to scuttle that trip. Yeah, well, Laura, say what you want about Pelosi. She sticks to her guns, and she has been tireless in defending human rights, not only in China, but all over the world. Uh, I only wish she had scripted her comments a little bit more. In our earliest days of our founding of our country, Benjamin Franklin presidency said, freedom and democracy, freedom and democracy, and one thing, security here. If we don't have, we can't have either if we don't have both. Well, her heart was well, in the her right heart place. Was in Laura. the right place, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, she, she, meant, she meant those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. She was close. What are you going to do? Uh, forgive me, it's so warm in this studio here. But uh, I, I got to well. say, Nancy Pelosi has <laughs> done some incredible things here, though, Laura. She, she did go over there. There was national security importance because of the superconductor chips. She's trying to ensure that we have access to half of the, the superconductor foundries in the world while starting our own here in the United States. This was a smart visit, contrary to what you're hearing from some parlance in the Democratic and the Republican Party. I think we all know, you know, what China is now. If you ever had any doubts about what China really represents, yeah. I think it, you should be disabused of that notion now, especially all the liberals. Where's the squad? Why aren't they defending mm. Nancy Pelosi's well, trip? Meanwhile, else, the president, Ray? Laura, was working, the president was working the phones with his national security team. You've heard of long-term COVID? Biden is apparently worried about long-distance COVID. He's wearing a mask in the room on the phone. Nobody's there. But then what? later, he held an abortion cabinet meeting without a mask or possibly a clue. Healthcare crisis is, you know, it's just it's hard for me to even understand how they think this. Last night in Congress in Kansas, they found out to allow them to provide reproductive health care for women who live in states where where, where abortions were, are, are being banned. Okay, Ray, he didn't have a mask on because it was a Zoom cabinet meeting there. Right? Well, that, 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 well, that's not entirely true. Staff was in the room with him, Laura, during the Zoom call, and he's still COVID positive. Watch this. He's trying to get their permission. Look. I'm going to sign this executive order right now, okay? We feel your presence, Mr. President. <laughs> it's like a seance. You get the feeling Kamala loves having Biden confined to the room, Laura. But it's clear the platform the Democratic Party is going to run on in these midterms is an abortion in every pot. We'll see how successful that strategy is, given the polling with inflation as the number one issue for most voters going into this election cycle. Well, or maybe it's just abortion and pot and porn. <laughs> <laughs> and high gas prices. I mean, abortion, oh, every pot of abortion and pot. Yeah. All right, Ray, there's a new I beauty trend, I understand, that the Wall yes. Street Journal has identified. It, it's looking fairly sweaty to me. Yeah, it's sweaty. sweaty. Are you are you bringing this up because it's hot in this studio, Ingram? Look, there is a trend yeah, looks on the runway, on movie screens, and they claim that this glistening, slick look is sexy and youthful. Uh, the article recommends a bunch of ways to achieve this look, or you can just, I guess, come into this studio or stand out in the weather. Uh, you don't have to worry about it at all. Do you think this dewy look is attractive? Well, it depends on whether the. <laughs> the man is, you know, has, you know, good physique. I mean, if it's dewy and pudgy, then that, God bless, everyone comes in different shapes, Raymond, but then it might not, the glisten might not work. Well, but I, I, that's I, what I, I, I don't think anybody really, look, I mean, everybody kind of looks sweaty when they're, I mean, I'm, I'm dying in this studio tonight, Ingram, but most people, when they're, when they're dewy, when they're sweaty, <laughs> I just don't think it looks good. It's kind of underrated, I think, in many ways. I'm just dying in here. We got to turn the air well, up. Well, I in think this a new place. fashion trend, Raymond. Raymond, I think a new fashion trend what? should be buggy. 
Okay, because last night I was but swarmed well, with you. God knows how many. I saw your clothes things last night swarming around. That's a whole new new uh, segment yeah. for and the then, Ingram angle. Yeah, and tonight there's you know we're we're we're, we're doing our best. That's all I can say. The locusts are approaching. Yeah. All right, I'm Raymond, good job. I hope you cool just off. For you. I cool do. off. You're looking very dewy. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.